What's up, you guys? It is your girl, Vom Jalam, and I am back to talk some more NBA predictions with you. The Eastern Conference second round is already underway, and I've created a video detailing those predictions, which you can watch right up here. Okay, but right now, it is time to talk about the West, 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 West. First round matchups were pretty swift, ending in just four or five games with a few notable exceptions. As expected, the top four seeds in the West have succeeded in beating their first round matchups and now to take down their newest opponents. These games will be more of a fight and I could see both series going to six. In the series of the Nuggets versus the Clippers, an interesting aspect of Mike Malone's coaching is that his team can speed up and slow down the game when they want to. They have decent shooters in Jeremy Grant, Jamal Murray, MPJ, Nikola Jokic, and they also have formidable defenders in Jeremy Grant, Nikola Jokic, Gary Harris, Miles Plumlee, and even Bol Bol, though I'm not sure he'll see any playing time this series. The effort will be needed from the Nuggets because in their first matchup so far, the Clippers blew them out. The Nuggets were most likely gassed after a seven game matchup in the first round against the Jazz. But I expect that they will eventually get their legs back under them and come to play in full force. The Nuggets are a great team. However, the offensive abilities of PG, Kawhi, Lemon Pepper, Lou Will, and Landry Shaman, combined with their many defensive talents of Harrell, The Claw, Pat Bev, Zubac, etc will prove to be too much for the Nuggets. And I'm giving the Clippers no more than six games to close this round and move on to the wild, wild Western Conference Finals. Next up, we have Lakers versus Rockets. Whew, child. On paper, this matchup seems interesting. PJ is the center for the Rockets, standing at 6'6". The Lakers have more height and length. How will the Rockets try to stop them? Attempting to mitigate LeBron or AD in the post one-on-one -on -one is tough as they are too strong. I think the Rockets will focus on doubling LeBron or AD as they are the Lakers' two biggest scorers. This will leave the scoring to Kuzma, Quinn Cook, Danny Green, and the likes. Strategically, I could see the Lakers using a 1-3-1 full court press defense as opposed to a 2-3 zone in an effort to keep the Rockets scoring to a minimum. They will look to double Harden or Westbrook, whichever one is going off, as they will not want to give up easy baskets on the perimeter. They will settle for contested mid-range jump shots or dunks as long as they can keep the Rockets from shooting threes, as that is where they can heat up. This will be a testament to the shooting abilities of the Rockets supporting cast because Harden will be a big focus by the Lakers, which will leave his teammates open. Will Gordon, Tucker, Covington, and the rest show up? With their offensive ability, I can see the Rockets stealing one game, but I see this series ending in five due to lack of length and height on the Rockets. They have little defense down low, and this is where Bron and AD can flourish while they place spot up shooters on the perimeter. Those are my takes, but what are yours? If you made it this far in the video, let me know which team you have winning each series down below in the comments. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.